This group of researchers work at the interface of engineering, medicine and biology. A 10-year development underway to create a bionic eye. This is the map of what will be contained in a tiny neurostimulator chip. So this work took about, um, a, well, three or so PhD students, about six months of their lives to do. There's about a million wires there, and it's about one of the most complex neurostimulation chips you know, ever designed. Its size is only two by four millimeter. So this chip is not mounted on this, this carrier package, but what happens is it's turned upside down and mounted on this carrier. So in terms of the technology, we'd have an external camera and a processing unit that would send signals and power to a device that would be implanted inside the eye. There'd be electrodes at the back of the eye um, on the, the surface of the retina and they would be electrically stimulated and they would then convey information down the op optic nerve to the brain, to the visual cortex of the brain and we believe that, that the brain would be able to interpret those signals, probably remodel some form of, of a visual image. These dotted images show what a person might see when using a bionic eye. I think to create a bionic eye is, is equivalent to trying to create a television as, as compared with a radio. I mean, the, I mean it's, it's of orders of magnitude more com complex to create a bionic eye. It's an enormous task, but we've been doing it for 10 years and we, we believe we have probably the most advanced electronics technology um, that is in use today around the world. 